Hello and welcome back my friends. Today we have another easy answer random order video for the 100 civics questions of the US citizenship test. But this time we're going to speed it up. So let's see how quickly you can answer these questions. Stay with me if you are ready for the challenge. Let's get started with what are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Crow. When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18 or between 18 and 26. We elect a president for how many years? Four. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances checks and balances. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. When was the Constitution written? 1787. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. What is an amendment? A change, a change to the Constitution. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. What is the economic system in the United States? 
a capitalist economy or a market economy. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic. What is the name of the vice president of the United States now? Kamala Harris. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. John Jay. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? The Pacific Ocean. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? the vice president. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House. The Senate and House. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. The Missouri River. Missouri River. Name two national U.S. holidays. New Year's Day. President's Day. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Wilson. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. Who is one of your state's U.S. senators now? Answers here will vary depending where you live. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Six years. Who is the governor of your state now? Answers here will vary depending on where you live. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? The Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? 
fought for civil rights. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Education. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. What is the capital of your state? Answers here will vary depending where you live. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? To obey the laws of the United States. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The Civil War. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two, two years. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. 
What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil rights. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. What did the Declaration of Independence do? It said that the United States is free. Name your U.S. representative. Okay, answers here will vary. You'll need to go to house.gov to find your representative. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. What did Susan B. Anthony do? She fought for civil rights. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. In what month do we vote for president? November. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? To vote in a federal election. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War II. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote and join a political party. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Who was the first president? George Washington. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? to provide schooling and education. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? He was a U.S. diplomat. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life and Liberty. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? 
freed the slaves. Who makes federal laws? Congress. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. There were 13 original states. Name three. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. Who vetoes bills? The President. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. Who is the commander in chief of the military? The president. Whew. And there you have it. You did it. All 100 civics questions. Fast and easy. Thank you for joining me today. Please leave questions and comments below. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.